Hi guys, my name is Happy Laura and today I have a first impressions on an eyeshadow palette for you all. This one's exciting and I've been eyeing it out for quite some time. It is the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. So on the back of the box it says, get unzipped gold and unleash your natural beauty with Lorac's universally flattering eyeshadow palette. Create unlimited head turning looks. Ooh. Hold on, my dad is calling. Sorry about that, my dad just called. So, yeah. I did open up the box when I was on the phone to him because it looked a little bit tricky. Um, basically on the back, it's just like trying to sell you the palette. I'm not gonna read it because it's just trying to sell you the palette. Um, yeah, it's kind of just BS to me. I wanna know the quality of the product. So in the box, it comes with an eyeshadow primer. I've already actually primed my eyelids using this type of primer, not this tube, only because I already have a tube of this open from another palette that I bought in the past. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good primer. It's probably my second favorite, second to NARS, and NARS is my absolute favorite, but they are very, very similar. I just like the applicator of the NARS one better, because this one's like a little squeeze tube, and sometimes it's a little bit separated, but it is a good primer if you use it every day. So this is what the palette looks like, like the packaging. It's really, really pretty. This is the older one, so it is just a light pearlized yellow shade. You get 11.2 grams in this palette, and I think there's 12 shades. Oop. There's a little cover slip that protects it. There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 10 shadows, so that means that there is around, you're looking at around 1.2 grams in each shadow. So same layout as the original palette, it's just got the mirror here and then it's just got all these shades. I do quite like these shades and I think they're going to be amazing for the summertime. Like, can we just take a minute to appreciate? Okay guys, I feel like everything's going against me today trying to film this first impressions for you all. My memory card got full, but while I was waiting for some footage to export onto my computer, I did swatch the shadows and oh my dear god, like I will insert a swatch because like I can't even, oh you can see it there. <laughs> But like, seriously, the quality and the pigmentation of these shadows blow the original palette out of the water. Oh my goodness. I'll probably put a little picture of my swatches somewhere on the screen. Like, can we just take a minute to appreciate... Oh my god, I can't even show you. This color? Oh my dear god. Like, they're all beautiful and I love how there's so many mattes in this palette and they're like all wearable. With the original palette, I feel like there was only a few mattes and even them weren't that good. Like they were relatively dry. So I'm so glad. Like they've definitely picked up the game with these pal like with this palette. It is exceptional. Thumbs up from me in terms of swatching them. Let's see how they perform on the eyes, shall we? Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys this palette does have four matte shades and then it has six more shimmery toned shades shadows. I do feel like these two shadows right here are the two shadows that are kind of lacking in the palette, but they're not exceptionally bad. The quality of these is probably like the good shadows in the other palette. <laughs> anyway, like this row here, like this one on this side, this row is amazing. This row, it's a little bit how you're going, only because of those two shadows, but the rest it's like perfection. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Undressed. And yes, the shade names are printed on the palette. That's amazing. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this shade. It's not very light, but it's the lightest color on the palette. I'm just going to chuck it underneath my brow bone. Yeah, that's really close to my skin tone. Like, I've got an NC35 powder foundation on at the moment. And it's literally the same color as my skin right now. So I feel like if you were quite pale or even just not that shade. I don't think this will be a very good highlight for you just because it doesn't really offer that much of a highlight. Downfall so far, no light matte highlight shade. So I'm going to take this brown on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to work that through my crease. Ooh, okay, I'm getting a lot of fly up from these shadows. Like, I don't know if you can see all this like brown dust that's like flew off from me picking it up on my brush. Well, it's really, really blendable. That's a plus. Oh yeah, and I think I forgot to tell you, the the eyeshadow palette, it comes with a primer and I have used this on my eyelids today. I did set it with a tiny bit of powder though because I always do that, otherwise it becomes way too tacky. So if you're wondering if I have any primers, yes I do, the one that comes with the palette. So far, that shade is quite nice. It definitely doesn't show up as dark as it does in the pan. Um, so that does make a nice transition color. 
I'm just going to take this shade now on a more pointy stubby brush. I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line. I, I completely forgot to tell you what shades I use. The first shade that I used is Unwind. That was one that I put through my crease. Then on my lower lashes, I put Undeniable. And I do like both of those. They're quite nice. They do look very similar on the eye though. Like you can't really tell that I've got two different colors on my eye. So I kind of wish they did put a different color in there in replacement of that one. I'm just going to take a little bit of this unlocked shade. It's like a white goldy color on a kind of smaller angled, like pointy brush. I'm just going to put that on my inner corner. Oh my goodness, that is so intense. That's like MAC Nylon intense. Okay, whoa. Can you see that? I don't know if you can really see because of the... Oh no, you can see kind of. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's really intense. I didn't expect that. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Undeniable on a more fluffy brush. And I'm just going to work that through my crease as well, just to darken it. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. So far, I'm really enjoying the mattes in the palette. I even enjoy this undress shade, the first one that I used on my brow bone. It's only because it's not light enough for my skin tone. It's why I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Like, I could have just went in with my face powder under there. It's the same color, basically. Now for the lid, I think I'm just going to use a little bit of this unlimited shade and then we'll see how we go. Oh my dear goodness, that is so pigmented. Do you see that? Oh my god. I'm totally have to, I'm going to have to redo my makeup because it, this makeup is totally not appropriate for where I'm going later today. Whoa. Okay. That's gorgeous though. That color like literally blew me out of the water. Do you see that? I was not expecting that whatsoever. Like, I don't own a gold that's so vibrant without, like, a white base underneath. I'm going to take this Unleash shade, which is this color here, and I'm just going to apply that to my outer corner. Not outer corner, but, like, the part where the Unlimited shade didn't go. Oh, my goodness. This shade is gorgeous as well. If you love shimmery shadows, um... You need this in your life. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to quickly go in, no more product on my brush, but I'm just going to go in with the brush that I used and put unattainable in the crease. Undeniable, not unattainable. The names are really similar. I'm getting confused. If you love gold eyeshadow, you need this palette in your life. Guys, I never lie on my channel and I'm not lying now. This is like crazy intense. Like this is ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows intense but without having to be creamy, so you won't ever need to worry about them drying out. This is actually so crazy. Oh my dear goodness, this is like the most beautiful thing that I've ever put on my eye. Wow. This totally blew my expectations out of the water. What the hell? I'm just gonna put a little bit of Unafraid in my outer corner as well, just give my eye a little bit of depth. Okay, that shade isn't very pigmented, but it's kind of a good thing because I don't want it to take away too much from the gold. I'm going to try and use the shade unedited instead. Oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed. Can you see how gorgeous that is? I'm using the smallest amount of product because I don't want to have like black on my eye. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my dear goodness. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm going to go in with a little bit of unwind and a little bit of unedited just mixed together. I'm going to apply that to the lower lashes. Oh wow, that was really pigmented. Did you see that? Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that bit, but okay. I am so impressed, guys. Like, I am not even like kidding you guys. This is amazing. I'm gonna take a little bit of Unleashed and I mix it with Unpredictable and I'm gonna put that on my kind of inner part of my eye. I am just so shocked. Like, I wasn't expecting this from this palette at all. Like, I was expecting it to be an okay palette, but this is more than okay, guys. <laughs> wow. I do feel like this shade here, I tried putting that on my outer corner. This is a kind of shimmer shade. It's probably the not the most pigmented, but you could build it up. But every other shade in this palette, like, that's blown me away. I'm going to use a little bit of this uninhabited shade on my very inner corner. Okay, I am looking at my desk right now, and I've got all this little flyaway dust from this palette. So that's another thing to keep in mind is that there is quite a lot of fallout from these shadows 
not fall out, but like pick up. Like when you put your brush in there, a lot of product picks up and flies up. But the, the shadows are so well pigmented and they're so well transferred to the eye. That's nothing of my concern, to be honest. Even the shades that I thought weren't that well swatched, they still go onto the eye okay, and that's great for me. Um, so far, I give this palette like two thumbs up. This is amazing. Um, obviously, if you don't like gold eyeshadows or you don't like these colors here, maybe this palette isn't for you, but so far, this is amazing. I'm gonna go put on some mascara and some fake eyelashes, and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so I just put on a little bit of mascara and some eyelashes, and I also put on a lipstick just so you can kind of see what the full face looks like. I love this palette. My goal for this summer is to be like a bronzed goddess, and I feel like this is going to be my go to palette. I'm not even joking you. It is just so beautiful. Like, I'm sure you won't be able to create like a million looks with it, but then again, it's a good go to palette. There's not too many colors that you're going to feel overwhelmed, but there's not so few colors that you're going to be like you doing the same look over and over and over again. It's a perfect balance. I love this palette. It's definitely an upgrade from the original palette, and this is definitely a lot better quality, I feel. The pigmentation is a lot better, and I feel like the colors are a bit more... They're definitely more gold. That's why it's called the Unzip Gold. But they're also a little bit more complementary to a lot of skin tones, at least in my opinion. So packaging on this, it's perfect. It's not too thin at all, but it's not too thick. It's just the perfect weight or the perfect size so you aren't just going to drop it on the floor and everything's going to smash. I feel like it's perfect in my eyes. I personally would recommend it if you're in the market for a gold eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I think it's really, really good. I don't think there's anything else for me to say, really. Colors are really, really blendable. The colors work beautifully together and they're just amazing quality. They're really, really good and I don't think there's anything else for me to really say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. And maybe even comment down below what you want to see from me next. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.